again. I'm going to talk to y'all a little bit about sweethearts. I'm not a sweetheart at all. In no way, shape, form, or fashion. Maybe at one time in my life, a long time ago I was, but I am the opposite of whatever a sweetheart is. <laughs> um, as far as I'm not a sweetheart. Now, I know this because just in my general interaction, I'm watching how other people interact with each other and how I interact with people. I interact with people in a way that <laughs> says, give me what I want and leave me alone. <laughs> and as rude and abrupt as that may be or seem, um, it's a defense mechanism because usually the sweetest of people, you know, after they've been battered so many times, it's just like, okay, you start to understand that unless people serve a purpose, it's just like, okay, just keep it to a minimum. Now, um, and I may not be saying that exactly the right way, but uh, when I'm when I'm focused on my goal or whatever it is that I choose to do, that tends to be um, my mindset, you know, give me what I want, <laughs> leave me alone. You know, I will be courteous, I will be respectful, but, you know, basically I want what I want, I don't want, and that's it. Um, and like I said, I admit my flaws, that's, it's understandable why somebody would be that way, but I need to work on that a little bit, work on, you know, developing a way where I'm getting what I want, I'm being direct, but I'm also giving. I have to learn to give something. And when I say give something, it doesn't mean just a normal exchange, but give something interpersonally so a people for person feels good about giving whatever it is that they gave. So that's something that I have to learn. I think I've been that way for a long time. And even more so, it's even more exasperated now. So I really need to work on that. Um, got a lot of things I need to work on. What brought this to my attention today, um, I was at this place and I was making, I was taking care of some personal business. And as I was taking care of my personal business, um, there was a uh, Hispanic guy, very small and slim. In, in stature and um no oh, there's a house up for auction I can't buy it which is good because I, I don't really want anything it's you know it's a give and take like even with that I really don't want anything permanent you know but on the same note um on the same note even though I don't want anything permanent you have to have some some form or some sense of stability in order to build. Um, so, watching this person interact, there was a small guy, very small guy. He probably, even though he was very quick in his motions and actions and seemed to really be uh, with it, he was very fast in the way that he moved and the way that he thought and the way that he reacted and responded. Now, He was a Hispanic guy. Probably came to about here to me, and I'm only 5'4". He was small, and he was really slim. Probably weighed all of 120 pounds. He was an older man, all bald. He had to be, like, he had to be approaching 60. But, again, he was very fast. Um, and there was a man in front of me, and there was me. He asked the lady, he asked the lady behind the place, um, you know, she was asking her about some drinks and stuff like that, you know, some frappuccinos, whatever. And she was like, oh, she preferred this one. And he was like, okay. And she, she was very helpful to him. And, um, but 
that's the way from what I've seen maybe this I've this is my second time the first time I was there she was very helpful as well to me she's just a helpful person um, she's just a good good helpful person so um, so he went to get his and he was like well you know charge me for two of those so he purchased what he purchased for himself but he purchased the two you know one for her and then unbeknownst during that exchange he also purchased um, something for the other young lady that was there and um, and it was just you know and I was putting myself in a situation and thinking of how would I react, you know, if I was the person behind the counter? And how would I react if I was the person immediately in line behind this person? Um, I just saw something that I thought was beautiful. I may have misinterpreted it, but I'm going to share it in just a minute. So, so if I was the person that was behind the counter... I would have been annoyed because to me that man would have been very I would have thought that was really rude don't you see there's a line of people I wouldn't have said that but I would have been thinking that and because I would have been thinking that people would have been able to kind of see it because I for some reason I can't I don't have a mask I can't hide you know my discontent or the way that I feel they would have been able to see that I was not okay with that you know and to me my feelings or my thoughts being a person behind the counter would have been like you know don't you see there's a line of people here that's rude I'm in the mid sentence with this guy working on doing his whatever I'm doing and you're jumping in about some drinks <laughs> you know I wouldn't have said that but I would have thought that and you would have seen it and because you would have seen that I was not okay with that it probably would have changed the whole environment environment was a little tense because it was a little rude but it was tense maybe because the person that was in line behind and the person me that was behind him you know was just like what the heck you know now if I was the guy that was immediately behind him I would have been like excuse me can you please you know can we please finish this transaction first and we did stand there a long time okay now I guess it's an issue of patience you know she was patient with him the guy behind him probably, you know, lacked some patience, but he didn't really say a whole lot because he didn't really say a whole lot because, again, he probably knows just wisdom that, you know, you don't want to get caught up in a whole bunch of mess, you know, just trying to do something small, you know. Are you willing to fight and die <laughs> to speak up for something like that? So... Moving right along. Um, so, do it. Even you know, you know, talking that situation out. You know, I still think it was wrong and it was rude. But had I not, um, had I been a person that was directly involved in that relationship. I would not have been able to see what a sweetheart that guy was. That guy was truly a sweetheart. I mean, he, like I said, went over and beyond, and he didn't want, he was just like, well, maybe he did want something. He wanted to be able to cut in line. That's what it was. But, you know, he was telling him to make sure you get your receipt, and, you know, this, that, and the other. And um, so you, I still see the part where it was self-serving. Um, yeah. And so... I don't know, but I guess, you know, the patience for them kind of paid off, you know, but I saw that he was a sweetheart, but even through the process of talking this out, it was still rude. I still don't feel that was appropriate, regardless of how, what a sweetheart he was or not. There may have been people that had the same places they had to go and things they had to do too, and you put them in a situation where they would have to speak up on that. So, yeah. I'll tell y'all about the next situation that I saw. I'll call these interactions. The next situation that I saw, how it affected me and what the reality of it really, really may have been.